Hey everybody, it's Becky and Charlie. Welcome back to another video in our Road to the Altar series or whatever the heck. I, I think it's I think it's, it's actually called our journey to I do. In this video, we are going to be discussing uh, how we chose where we're going for our honeymoon and where we're going. Not exactly where we're going. We're not going to tell you guys the location, but we're, we're going to let you in on um, some information. So Without further ado, we're going to go over the three options that we had to pick from. These were three different places that we figured that we would enjoy going. A lot of them do have a lot of things that honeymooners would enjoy and other things that are more exciting that we have options for as well. So option A is our most expensive option that we are starting with. It is at an island. I will just put it that way which is a very <laughs> broad. Yeah, I was gonna, a very broad answer because that could be anywhere in the world. So uh, that's why I said I'm not, and just, in, and just in case, like we're gonna tell you which one we chose, but just in case it does not work out, we could end up using one of these other locations and anyway, but it's on an island. It's an expensive place to visit. If you are lucky enough to go there, I would definitely do that if you can uh, pull that off. We have never been to this location before. There are lots of activities to do there. There are local activities that you just like seriously can't pass up if you are going to go here. And there are also lots of relaxing places for, like I said, honeymooners and chill spots where we can just relax and enjoy the fact that we are newlyweds. It and also, food. oh yes, and lots of good food. And this is our cat once again who likes, or one of our cats who likes to get into our videos. And we also are going to have to rent a vehicle if we choose option A, and it involves going on a plane. So that was option A, our island option. Then we have option B, which would be a cruise. Now, there are a ton of cruises you could do. We have been on one. I will not even say that cruise line unless you've already watched that video that's buried uh, playlist somewhere but it would be a cruise, a similar cruise to the one that we have done before. It was the least expensive option, but I think it would include other like excursions that we could do off of the boat or in one of the places we would visit that we have never done before. It's the easiest one to plan, probably the most relaxing. Yeah, you, you show your ID and stuff at the port, you walk on, you find your room and you just, pretty much a chill the whole time. So it's a very easy easy and a very doable one. You're free to move up and ship. Mm -hmm. So that was an option for us. And we went, okay, we will make this a contender. And then there was option C, which would be to do a road trip. Uh, a road trip would mean that we would bring our own vehicle and we would be at our luxury to move at the pace that we would like. Uh, we would have to probably book some hotels we would be going actually down south to Florida, and I am giving you guys that location because if uh, we were to do that option, we wouldn't just be going. We wouldn't just be going to Florida. We would go lots of different places in the state of Florida, which would obviously include one of my top five places. We don't even have to go there, guys. Okay? Uh, it's so magical, but it's so exciting. <laughs> um, but we would visit other states and other. Places. So it could be, a, we would have a variety of lots of different choices. Um, like I said, it gives us the most options if I have not said that. And we could go to places that we never been before, which is something I like to do. I like to try something different or do something slightly different if I'm back at a place I've already been. And it could be, end up being just as expensive as option A. It's not as cheap as doing a cruise would be, but we could kind of like price it out and then we could like eliminate or add things according to like what our budget is. So it was a, it's flexible. And I think it ran pretty much like in the middle as far as pricing. All depends on how many stops we would make, but yeah, it had the flexi yeah. flexibility. So then we both had to choose a favorite option. My favorite option was to do the island getaway since it was uh, at a once in a lifetime place that uh, I would love to go to. And if I had the opportunity to do it, I would like to do it. Your favorite option, I think, was... The cruise. Yeah. And probably because... Why? Because uh, <laughs> you, 
get on, you sit and relax. I mean, I love sitting by the ocean and just enjoying, but also mm -hmm. the drink package too. Because mm -hmm. the last time we went on a cruise, um, I think the bartenders knew you by the second day. You really shouldn't admit that publicly, but go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Too late here. But I think that's your type of vacation, though, honestly. Like, that's what you enjoy the most. So, which is fine, because that's what a honeymoon, honestly, should be. You should be able to relax. You should be able to do, or, or I feel like do some things you haven't done either. If it's like on a cruise and you stop at one of the ports and it's something or somewhere you've never been before, you have that opportunity. Yeah. I, because I like to plan, plan, plan. So we kind of came to a compromise. We we eliminate option C, which is the Florida road trip. We still want to do that, and it still could be a possibility if the option that we chose does not work out. But when it came to option A and B, well, who went out, Charlie? Uh, I've learned that it's best to let the uh, wife, happy wife, happy life. So we're going. We're going to the island. The island that we're not going to tell you about yet. But we are going to an island. It has palm trees. It has beautiful beaches. It has a lot of different options, a lot of relaxing options, but also like places that are things to do that you can't do uh, anywhere else. Or in other parts, you might be able to do some of the stuff in other parts of the world, but there's things that are exclusive to this island. That we can't do readily available to us. Yes. So that is the option that we've chosen. We have currently rented an Airbnb. We have booked a flight that I think was pretty reasonable for the location that we're yes. going to in today's day and age with flight prices. Honestly, I mean, it does it does require taking a bit of a plane ride but um we we're, we're going to the island and we are gonna like i said take you guys along i'll do probably a travel day too and then like some of the real special things about that island i will take you guys along for i'll probably take little clips of like beach time and all that but a lot of it will be private because it is our honeymoon and you guys don't need to see the whole honeymoon you know what i mean um if we're making a video about this then i mean it was got the, it was gonna come up anyway but um, anyway, that's uh, that's how we decided on where we're going for our honeymoon. And uh, that's kind of sort of where we're going for our honeymoon. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are enjoying the series. Hopefully after this video, um, there will be some more exciting things to share. I know we've had a bit of like a lull in the wedding series. There hasn't been too much going on besides buying things and stuff like that and just like reserving certain things. But some of the exciting stuff is going to come up. It will all be documented or documented if I am able to. And even if it's like a couple months past the wedding, we will end up sharing it. So as always, take care, stay safe, and have a five-star day. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe.